Good evening, people. Can you hear me? Am I audible to you? I like demo. I like demo. Hi, Pavan Ravela, Mok Sharma. Hi, good evening. Shall we start the quiz? Please tell me if I'm audible to you. I'm looking at your comments. Gitanjali Gunasekaran, good evening. All of you, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, welcome Suparna. Good evening, Suparna. Good evening, Pawan Ravela. Okay, so let us wait for the other people also to join. So I'm Dr. Minakshi Sundaram here. This is my introduction. And uh, this is about the plus subscription that is happening for an academy. And you'll be having daily live classes, live tests and quizzes. And you'll be having structured courses, unlimited access with one single subscription. With one subscription, you can have the classes for 19 subjects on all plus classes on all quizzes, no questions asked. You'll be having access unlimited. And you can also have the concept of iconic subscription where Prep Ladder has come together with that of an academy. Just a minute, people. Yes, good evening. So Prep Ladder has made a connection with the Rathan Academy. It has been acquired. So you will be having an iconic subscription and it can have a very good discount for you. You can have 10% discount on both and you can use the code Dr. ASMYT. ASM-YT is the referral code for you to use in case you're going for the subscriptions. And we are having free live classes on an academy. Now, right now at 8.30 p.m., we have one class on an academy, which is for the molecular biology. The link has been added and has been posted on the Telegram groups. You can actually acquire this. So molecular biology, 90 minute session. We'll be having a 90 minute sessions purely for MCQs. And uh, these are the new tests coming up an academy need field 2022 test series you can have free live test on an academy every day at 9 pm you can attend the test live this is for everyone not just for the plus subscriber everyone and need field 2021 you'll be having a daily mcq series of 20 questions to keep you on track that is also every day at 8 pm attend the live test and this is how you can approach it you can look at these pages and see how to come to the area for getting a subscription and uh, this is how you can connect with me an academy you can go for this particular code you can search for me on the profile on on telegram right now i'll be posting all the classes right now yes good evening suparna moksharma srikala sneha satyashri and jashvita now this is how you can follow me on the telegram app to get the updates for every classes free classes free classes i'm saying and this is the instagram by which you can connect with me so these are all the free classes available right now for us let's go for the quiz so we had enough amount of time to describe this. Shall we go for the quiz right now? So have a look at this people. Yes, Harshita, good evening. Have a look at this. On top, you can have a code 1821416. So to play this game, please be, please be attentive people. Thank you very much for being on time. So please be attentive. Here, I want you to understand, you have to play. I'm typing it. As I'm saying these things, I'm typing this on the comment also. Please understand. Play using menti.com website. Parallelly from the Unacademy session, that is on the YouTube session, parallelly open menti.com and use code 1821416. If you could use this, you'll be able to play the quiz. Your answers will be counted. Please join the session faster. If you join the session right now, we can start the quiz automatically. We have only 43 people who have joined us till now. Out of all the 120 people who I can see here, I can see only 45 people joining us. Come on, people, others, please join faster. 
I have typed it here play using menti.com good evening Kartika Pradeshini play using menti.com go to menti.com website there you'll be having a small paper that is only one small page will be there in that page you'll have a small column in that column please type the code given here 1821416 1821416 type this code then you will be entering into the particular area so if you all are ready shall we start please put a thumbs up if you are ready we'll start good evening sayash <coughs> sorry okay so i'm pressing enter we are going live we are going for the quiz we are starting it right now so answer faster to give us questions this is asset based balance quiz you can answer very simple questions but you have to be on your toes to get the right question think before you answer so let's go for the first question answer fast to get more points come on people now excess citrate in transfused blood can cause which of the following abnormalities if the transfused blood contains excess citrate among the following abnormalities which one can be found metabolic alkalosis metabolic acidosis respiratory alkalosis respiratory acidosis which one come on people Yes, thank you very much. Please don't give us the answers here. Please don't type the answers here. Get Suga Tenso, you have been doing this again. I request you, I request you kindly to go to. I request you, Get Suga. I request you, Get Suga, to go to menti.com. To go to menti.com and use code 18. 21416. I am typing this only for Gitsuga. Please understand Deepes, Karki, Gitsuga. Please go to menti.com and use this. You are giving us the answer. If you are wrong, everybody will be able to see your wrong answer. If you are right, nobody will know whether you are right or wrong because you will not be knowing what exactly is happening. So you will not be, your marks will not be considered. That's why I'm asking. This is I am typing this purely for Getsuga and Deepes. Please look at this. What I'm typing here below. Go to menti.com and use the code one eight two one four one six to play the game. Otherwise, you will not be in the top. Now let me show you the answer here. The right answer is metabolic alkalosis. Let me show you the leaderboard for a minute. Okay, A B C D is on top. Shweta is second. Bio Bio Beno third. Maverick fourth. Sahana fifth. P S is sixth. Vichu seventh. Priya is D K F eighth. And Aishwarya ninth. Now, I mean, okay. Now look at this part. See, if at all, the next question you get it right. The first question you got it wrong. The next question you get it right. You will be able to topple the people who are present in the top ten position. You can actually go faster. For this given question, both A B C D and Shweta have been equally on top. So the arrangement has been only in the alphabetical order. A comes first and S comes next. So let's go for the next question. I'll explain you why exactly citrate is. Remember, the second question is starting. Before the second question starts, let me tell you, citric acid is a tricarboxylic acid. Please understand, citric acid is a tricarboxylic acid. So it can easily liberate what? Can you please tell me that? Come on, people, tell me. Citric acid is a tricarboxylic acid. It can liberate what? Come on, people. Citric acid is a tricarboxylic acid. COOH, COOH, COOH. There are three COOH groups. So tell me, what will it liberate? Anybody? It liberates carbon dioxide so that carbon dioxide if it is trapped inside the cell it can cause intracellular acidosis but we are focusing on metabolic acidosis that speaks about the concentration of the pH that is the level of the pH in the blood in the blood CO2 is actually the partial pressure of carbon dioxide please remember partial pressure of carbon dioxide will always be offering bicarbonate and that bicarbonate will add to the alkalotic part please understand any other acid can cause metabolic acidosis but those acids who can liberate carbon dioxide abundantly can only cause metabolic alkalosis not metabolic acidosis so many people made this mistake so let's go for the next question we'll see how many of you can fare right now come on people yes correct sneha velan sayantan pujita shasneha lakshmi jashvita sayantan basu moksharma laudairi zelori jananika all of you are telling me the right answer very well played very well played good choose the incorrect statement among the and about the anion gap of the following in lactic acidosis anion gap is increased anion gap is decreased in hypercalcemia anion gap is decreased in lithium toxicity anion gap is decreased in ketoacidosis which one is wrong speak about anion gap what is anion gap the total combined concentration of sodium plus potassium 
minus the concentration of just chloride according to certain kind of logic or chloride and bicarbonate according to certain other kinds of logic. But whatever give and take, please understand, sodium plus potassium minus that of chloride, if you add bicarbonate or don't add bicarbonate, doesn't matter. So totally, you should be getting an anion gap of 8 to 12. 8 to 12 should be the value in positive numbers. If at all there is an increase in anion gap or decrease in anion gap, imagine if the anion gap is 20, it is increased. If the anion gap is 5, it is called as decreased. So on that basis, which statement is the incorrect statement among given questions. So 35 people out of 74 have given the right answer. You have played very well people, very well played. So anion gap is decreased in acidosis is wrong. Why? Please remember, be it your lactic acidosis or ketoacidosis, the actual acid is accumulating. When the acid is accumulating, the negative charge is increasing. When the negative charge increases, you will be having a very wide space between that of positive and negative charges because of which anion gap has to increase. So please understand, lactic acidosis, diabetic ketoacidosis or starvation ketoacidosis, whatever the condition it is, the anion gap will increase. That is referred to as HAGMA, H-A-G-M-A, high anion gap metabolic acidosis. So let us see the leaderboard here. Okay, so Shweta has displaced ABCD. Shweta is on top, ABCD second, Bio Behano third, Sahana fourth, Nehavalan fifth, PS sixth, Kishore seventh, Vichu eighth, and Ritu ninth, and Ridu tenth. Very well played, people. So now we are going for the third question. We have only seven questions. It's a rapid, fast quiz. It'll be over in a matter of just 10 to 15 minutes from now. So please be on your toes. Third question, go for it faster. All are true for renal handling of acids in metabolic acidosis except. Hydrogen ion secretion is increased in acidosis. Bicarbonate reabsorption is decreased in case of acidosis. Urinary acidity is increased in case of acidosis. Urinary ammonia is increased in case of acidosis. Which one is actually wrong? They are asking you for all being true except. We have 25 seconds more. Come on, people, return your answers. So if there is acidosis about renal handling, which one is actually false? Yes, we have 15 more seconds. Come on, people, others, please send me your answer. Hello, Sanman Malli. Try to give us the answer in the menti.com. I am happy that you have joined us, Sanman Malli. Please go to menti.com. As you can see on the top of the screen in small letters, go to menti.com and use the code 1821416 so that you'll be open for a page. In that, you can type your answers. Excellent. So now this question was simple. 50 out of 78 people have got it right. It means, please understand, when there is metabolic acidosis, your body tries to push the acid as much as possible. So hydrogen ion secretion, absolutely correct. Urinary acidity is increased. Yes. Why? Because when you're trying to push the hydrogen ion, that is proton outside, the proton will go into the urine. So when the proton concentration increases in urine, acidity has to increase. And also remember, how can you think about the proton being lost? The proton can be hedged onto the ammonia so that it becomes ammonium ion and it gains to chloride, it becomes ammonium chloride salt. So ammonium chloride salt can come out in the urine, which is also causable for the acidity of the urine to increase. But bicarbonate is a base. You can't have decreased reabsorption. You need increased reabsorption to fight the acidosis. Let's play. Let's see how many of you got the right answer. Danish but please give us your answers in the menti.com site. So this is the leaderboard. At the end of it, Yadil has given the fastest answer of this particular session. Very well played, Yadil. Nice. So let's go for the fourth question. Answer fast to get more points. Carbonic anhydrase is present abundantly in all places except where? Is it present in gastric parietal cells? Is it present in RBCs? Is it present in renal tubular cells? Or is it present in plasma? Among the four, which is not the place where carbonic anhydrase can be abundantly present? Go for it, people. We have 45 more seconds to go for it. Danish but I understand. I am really glad with your answer. But please remember, your answer commented here will not be taken into account because I will not be able to track all the answers for all the questions given by you. See, if at all 100 people are here and all the 100 people are giving random answers, 
I will not be able to track whether you're right or wrong. That is why we are using a system. Go to menti.com. That is written on the top of the screen that you can see here, the menti.com and use the code 1821416. I'll be able to see whether you're right or wrong. So your mark will be noticed. Whether your answer will be correct or not, the machine will tell us. Carbonic anhydrase is present abundantly in all places except. We'll see how many of you will get it right. Okay, time is up. We have received 73 answers. Excellent. So 43 out of 73 have got it right. The other people have actually been confused. Please understand, carbonic anhydrase is important for releasing carbon dioxide from the GIT. So whenever you belch, oh, when you do that, the carbon dioxide comes out. And that can happen because of gastric parietal cells having carbonic anhydrase. And red blood cells, you obviously know, bicarbonate, chloride exchanger, the B band, B band anchor inspectoring, all these things will be doing chloride bicarbonate exchange where bicarbonate will be produced. There also carbonic anhydrase is present. Renal tubular cells, yes, of course, bicarbonate can be reabsorbed and the H plus can be lost. There also you require carbonic anhydrase. Plasma, free plasma is the place where carbonic anhydrase is not abundantly present. Okay, that's a very good game. Let's see how many of you got the right answer. I am typing this only for Danish, but please listen to my suggestions. Please don't give us answers here. Go to menti.com. <coughs> Go to menti.com and then use the code here. Okay, Ritu has been the fastest and Ritu is on top right now. Okay, let's go to the next question. This is the fifth of the seven questions. Come on, people. Just two more, three more questions to go for. Which out of the following conditions will not cause respiratory alkalosis? Among the following, which one will not cause respiratory alkalosis? Is it fever, anxiety, laryngeal obstruction, salicylate toxicity? Among them, which one? Which one will not cause respiratory alkalosis? We have 25 more seconds. Come on, people. Murari and Amar, can you please hear me? Can you please hear me? I have been telling you by my vocal words, I am typing it for you, which part is not understandable to you, please don't give us answers here, Murari and Mansi, please go to menti.com that is given there for your answers to be selected, your answers if they are wrong, Deep Jyoti, are you not able to read my words? Please go to menti.com and use the code. Okay, you can give me answers. I have, I'm, I'll give up on this. I am very tired of telling you this again and again. See, your answers, if you're wrong, the whole world will know that you're wrong. If you're right, nobody will matter. Nobody will be able to see whether you're right or wrong. But if you're right, it will count in your marks in the leaderboard. That is why I'm requesting you again and again and again and again. Which of the following conditions will not cause respiratory alkalosis? Laryngeal obstruction. Can you please tell me what happens in laryngeal obstruction, people? Come on, people. What happens in laryngeal obstruction? Can you please tell me? Anybody? What happens in laryngeal obstruction? When the airway is not getting out, something is getting trapped. When that something is getting trapped, it will cause what? Anybody? Come on, people. If there is a respiratory obstruction, you will be having a structural failure of respiration. So, what will accumulate and what kind of condition can be seen? Excellent. Carbon dioxide accumulation can happen and you will be having hypoventilation because of which you can have respiratory acidosis, not alkalosis. So we'll see how many of you are on top. Very well played. Excellent. Excellent. Very good people. Thank you very much. So Ritu is on top and Shweta. Shweta has given the fastest in this question. Ritu, Shweta, Tanya, Bayo, Bayano, Sahana, Doc D, NB, Harshita, Edil and ABCD have given the right answers. So last two questions for the quiz contest. Come on people. Yes, correct. All of you. Very well played all of you. 
So the last two questions for the session, we are winding up in just five minutes from now. Renal glutaminase activity is increased in. Renal glutaminase activity is increased in. Is it metabolic acidosis, respiratory acidosis, metabolic alkalosis, respiratory alkalosis? Which one? Harshita, what is option D? I don't remember. Can you please tell me? Why not D you're asking? I don't remember option D. Can you please tell me what is option D? Harshita? Salicylic acid. Please understand, I told you, whenever you add acid, what will you expect? Acidosis. Except in case of which condition I told you, that was the beginning question itself. Do you remember? In which kind of acids addition will you have alkalosis? Generally, when you add any acid, you'll have acidosis. You'll have acidosis, but that will be metabolic acidosis. Here, we are focusing on respiration. In respiration, you're having respiratory acidosis happening, not alkalosis. Salicylate toxicity. Okay. Okay, Harshita, if you think metabolic acidosis and the compensation can be respiratory alkalosis, please understand we are not focusing on compensation first. We are focusing on the primary disturbance. The question was based on the primary disturbance. Okay, can you please tell me what will glutaminase reveal? If glutaminase acts, what will come out? If glutaminase is acted upon, if glutaminase is acting upon glutamine, what will be released? Ammonia will be released. That ammonia will trap hydrogen. When that ammonia traps hydrogen, it becomes ammonium. If it captures chlorine, it becomes ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride can be lost in the urine. So in case of metabolic acidosis, you want to push H plus out. If you want to push H plus out, then ammonia will be used for trapping the H plus. So that will be activated with glutaminase. So glutaminase will be going for a forward reaction. Let's go for the leaderboard here. Yes, correct. Okay. Okay, Ritu still on first, Shweta second, Tanya third, NB fourth, Charvi fifth, Bio Behano sixth, Sahana seventh, Sudarshan eighth, Doc D ninth, and Nesika tenth. Very well played, people. Very well played. Okay, so we go for the last question for this. If you want, I can give you explanations at the end of the session also if you're waiting. Now go for the last question. The greatest buffering capacity at physiological pH would be provided by a protein rich in which are the following amino acids? Think about that amino acid whose pKa value will be closer to the physiological pH? Simple question. Lysine, histidine, aspartate, leucine. Lysine, histidine, aspartate and leucine. Aman Khanna, your answer is incorrect. But everybody will know that your answer is incorrect. Even if you got it right, you will not be able to get marks for this because you have not gone through the mentor.com. That is where you have to click on your answer so that your answers will be taken for marks. I'm really sorry you have come for the last question, I guess. But I'm really thank you. I'm thankful that you have come for the class. Thank you so much. Suparna, please ask me the question then and there. I do not know what exactly you're asking me. What is respiratory acidosis, which is the previous question I'm not able to understand. The greatest buffering capacity at physiological pH should be provided by a protein rich in which are the following amino acids. It has to be histidine. So out of 74 answers given here, 67 answers have been the right answers of histidine. Let me go back to the previous question. I'll see how many of you got the question right. Somebody is asking me. Okay. In case of renal glutaminase activity, Salicylate poisoning means salicylic acid is acid. Acid can cause a fallen pH. When there is a fallen pH, it will cause metabolic acidosis. If it is metabolic acidosis, how can it be respiratory alkalosis? Respiratory alkalosis can only be a compensation, right? We are focusing on primary disorder. Primary disorder of salicylic acid addition is metabolic acidosis. It can't be respiratory alkalosis. When I ask you what is the compensation, then your answer can be respiratory alkalosis. So let me show you the leaderboard now. Okay. Okay, so slow and steadily, Shweta was able to displace the people. Shweta is on top. Tanya, Ritu, NB, Charvi, Sahana, Bio Behano, Doc D, KP 123. This is the leaderboard. Congratulations, Shweta. Thank you very much for playing. Just a minute. See, right now at 8:30 p.m. Right now at 8:30 p.m. In just two minutes, we are going to have 
PG entrance exam class free session on an academy you can search for this particular name on the profile in the app you will be able to be directed towards the live class at 8 30 p.m we are having a live class on molecular biology and genetics please understand the class is on molecular biology and genetics that is nucleic acid structure nucleic acid metabolism dna application and transcription this was the most commonly requested topics from many students so i'm doing it tonight it will be 90 minute session and the link has been added on the telegram groups so please join us for the 9 o'clock that is 8 30 p.m session it is 8 30 to 10 o'clock thank you very much for playing a wonderful game here not 8.50 trust wine, it is 8.30. Let me tell you once again, it is 8.30 p.m. I am just directly jumping into that class. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, we are having a quiz on enteric bacteria. At 8 p.m. On, on, on YouTube, we will be having enteric bacteria. Let me tell you this. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. on YouTube, we are having a session on enteric bacteria. YouTube, 8 p.m tomorrow tomorrow that is wednesday today is tuesday tomorrow wednesday 8 pm youtube yentric bacteria we'll have a live quiz session here i am waiting to see all of you there thank you so much i'll meet you on an academy app right now in the next one minute i'll be there on the app come on people